Yes, sir. See, that was that was easy. Now we up out of here, Jack. Getting on to the business. Now we finna call this Better Business Bureau on the Chevy dealership, how they profiled me. Now we finna report this manager dude, man, for not putting no respect on it. Nigga, I done spent $105,000 with Chevy. I'm one of them. Nigga, I got the highest dually you can get. I'm fully loaded. Nigga, I'm a customer customer. I ain't a customer, I'm a customer customer. I'm spending good money with y'all. You feel me? I done spent $105,000 with y'all, yo. And, and I'm coming and getting all my service done through y'all up until, you know what I'm saying? So I'm finna call and report this dude. I don't know what's wrong with him, you know what I'm saying? Trying to play me like a sucker. And we finna get ready to do that. So I'm gonna be tapping back in with y'all real shortly after I do that. Cause also, uh, I bought one of these tacos, Jack. I'm gonna get a taco. We just talking about the diet, but right now, Let's get off the diet and get to something else. We want a taco, son. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Oh, man. How am I supposed to go through this drive through in this big old duty truck? It's starting to hit there for shorty. It's lunchtime. I can get me an old taco. Welcome to Taco Taco. What can I eat that with today? Let me get a hard taco. Okay. The super taco. Anything else? Nah, that's it. A super taco and a crunchy taco, and 604. No, I just want one. Of what? One super taco. Okay. The super taco is 389. That's fine. One taco would do me something. Oh, usually I be getting three, four tacos. I ain't doing all that, bro. Give me one old taco, man. Trying to eat less as possible. Snack it out, you know me. I'll get some for tonight, right now, and tomorrow. You know, I'm different. I do need a cup of ice about it, though. I'm gonna eat, shorty. One thing your boy gonna do eat. We gonna control it, though. A little taco. One. I call that a snack. I usually do a three piece. And that's one thing I ain't coming to this new year doing. Funk it a flex. It's funk it a flex. Not keeping it real with myself. You feel me? You said 389. Hey, can I get how much is a cup of ice? Please. Can I, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, please. That's one thing I ain't do, yo. Come in here, not keeping it real with myself in the new year. Like, for instance, right? And I tell people all this all the time. Right? Hey, love, y'all ain't got no green sauces, just red? I only got hot sauce. Did you want green sauce? What is this right here? Hot sauce. You ain't got green sauce? Uh, I don't have green sauce. I mean, I have like spicy sauce. Do you want some of that? Uh, well, yeah. I think I got, yeah, I think it's, I got some green before from you, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they got that ice ice. <laughs> they got that ice ice. But, uh, D, I ain't coming to, and funking a flex. Like, my thing, when I tell people, I ain't gonna just tell nobody to quit smoking cigarettes, right? Because that would be, like, really being unfair. You can't tell people to do stuff that you ain't doing or you ain't gonna do yourself, right? So, my thing is, if you stop, like, my thing be, hey, bro, if, if you can't stop smoking cigarettes, if you're smoking a pack a day, smoke a half a pack a day. Start right. Thank you, love. I mean, a lot of sauce just for one taco. My thing be, you know, if we're smoking a pack of cigarettes, try to number down to like a pack a day. You know what I mean? A half a pack a day. If you're doing a bottle of liquor a day, do a half a bottle. Like start small, but start somewhere. That's my whole ordeal about the situation. You know what I'm saying? And I got to get me a water off the back of the truck. Because I keep a bottle of waters on the back of the truck. That's right. Got them waters on the back of the truck. All I need is a cup of ice, shorty. And it hit different. Stop acting crazy. Hello? 
Hello, this is Brian Gordy calling in the recorded line. Can I speak to Janice Pierce, please? Yeah, they got the wrong number, and I ain't even finna entertain them, shorty. But, um, yes, sir. Yes, sir, you sir. We definitely got, uh, got us a bottle of water off the back of the truck. I keep a case of them where when I go to hotels, them complimentary waters, I'm gonna get mine worth, nigga. While at the hotel, I about had a case of water on the back of the truck. All off the strength. They making that money off me on the hotel side, why not? What you think come with all the extra fees? Your hotel be $75 after the fees, you at 105. What do you think that is? That's for tiles, that's for the bottle of water. I know you didn't think they was giving that to you for free, did they? Nah, so guess what? I'm gonna need me three, four more of them bottle of water to go. And I'm gonna need me an extra tile or two because I'm about to clean that dually down, shorty. Gotta get mine, shorty. Don't be no fool. Or you could be a fool if you want to. Sugar man go need his shorty. All 2024. I need me. Straight up. On um, Broski and them. I'm getting that on a shirt. I need me. Was well, understood. Don't gotta be explained. They got need me. I'm gonna get to this taco though. I'm gonna tap back in. Yes, sir. Back at it, back at it, back at it. A lot of stuff that I've been needing to get done that I haven't been doing lately. So we got that slow leak fixed on my truck, hopefully. Hopefully we got that fixed. But what we did go and do was pick up my trailer because I broke down in, what was that, Texarkana or a little toward Little Rock. But I broke down right before CDL school. I had uh, had my trailer on the back and I had I had a wheel on the back, man. And the wheel had busted on my trailer. If you guys was following me, how many of y'all remember that? When I broke down, I had T-Rex on the back and I was trying to get back to Texas because I had CDL school the next morning when I had just left Memphis. But anyway, I had bought some tires and put on my trailer, used tires, of course. Uh, Two of my trailers keep going, tires keep going down. Not only that, um, the wires on my trailer, they got ate up, they scrubbed the ground, they did something. So I'm gonna go see if we can get those fixed today as well, man. And then uh, I will be trying to get some new fenders put on my trailer and I wanna get my spare tire. I wanna get a bracket welded on my, on my, on my, on my trailer. Like right up there where that, uh, the neck is on the trailer or I might get it on the side I don't know I might get it on the neck but I'm gonna get it welded somewhere on there so I won't keep having that trailer be on there separate man I mean that uh, spare tire be on there separate so uh, just preparing myself to move around for a little bit uh, with my car when I hit the road if I get a spare tire like that, and, and for all y'all out there man make sure before y'all hit the road Y'all got y'all tail lights working because somebody can run into the back of y'all old school or whatever y'all got. Uh, and, and, and it's easy to point the finger and say, well, you know what I'm saying? People better know it is or that, but I promise you, man, if you could save yourself an accident, if you could save yourself a life, if you could save yourself a lot of money, bro, hear me out on this video. Make sure y'all got y'all tail lights working. Make sure y'all got y'all turn signals working on y'all trailer. Also, make sure y'all got y'all tires make sure y'all tires not dry riding if you look at your tires and they got cracks in this stuff everywhere like i i do it myself i go get used tires you can get used tires from 40 to 50 bucks they'll change it to go see the mexicans or you can get them brand new for like 100 or 150 or something like that but make sure y'all tail lights working make sure y'all turn signals working make sure y'all reflectors working make sure y'all ramps is securely mounted and you got the right clamps to hold y'all ramps in when y'all hitting the road and hitting these bumps bro because like i said i done seen it all bro i done had somebody run up on the back of my trailer thank god t-rex wasn't on the back of nothing like that but i done had somebody do that too so make sure y'all got all that stuff secured man that somebody else can run up on y'all and not even see your car bro just, just some people vision ain't good trust me bro you don't want that. You can save your life too in your old school. So make sure y'all do that, man. If I can do any message for the day, I'm gonna throw that out there. Um, other than that, um, man, it's really like that, man. Um, 
Oh yeah, the wires. Your wires drag the ground, they start to rip up. When I put mine in and the wires is tangled together or whatever, it locks my brakes up. So make sure y'all wires is uh, not touching, not threaded because it'll, it'll lock the brakes up. And I'm finna go fix mine right now, man. I actually gotta put a new fender on my trailer. Even though I'm getting a two car hauler, I always might not be pulling two cars around. I might be pulling one. So with that being said, um, definitely go get that fixed. Definitely, man. Cause I've been sitting back for mine and let mine just sit back and sit. But uh, you know, it's first quarter pressure and uh, we plan on doing some traveling this year. So I'm getting all my ducks in a row. <clears throat> Got my jack. Got my tool kit, you get a little $70 tool kit from AutoZone. If that, might be like $50, $60 or something like that. Uh, might be cheaper, get you a little tool kit, keep your four-way handy, keep your jack handy. You might have to change that time, man. And uh, if y'all got older vehicles before y'all hit the road, make sure y'all go spray y'all WD-40. Make sure y'all break y'all nuts and bolts loose on y'all old cars. Make sure y'all go break y'all spares loose on y'all cars. Uh, under y'all trucks, under y'all cars, and on y'all trailers. Make sure y'all, if y'all ain't, make sure y'all break the blues because you don't want to get out there, bro. And then you can't get your spare off, or you strip a nut out there, or you know what I'm saying, nut break off while you on the middle of the road. Like, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get your, you gotta get your roll on, get your things together. So y'all make sure y'all go out there and do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm keeping the maintenance up on mine, and I'm going, I'm gonna be uh. I'm gonna be hitting y'all as I'm doing mine, so y'all can do y'all's too. So, it's another video from your boy Sugar Man. On that, hit like and subscribe, man. We finna get ready to pull up to this trailer place and get that done. We got the big perm tire. We're gonna, we gonna watch the tire pressure. We're gonna, we're gonna watch the tire pressure over the next couple of days to make sure it don't go nowhere. And we gonna pull up to the Mexicans. And these is actually not the Mexicans I went to to get the tires. These are some different Mexicans. So, we gonna go to them though and see if they can find a leak, slow leaking, uh, in my tire and uh fix it if not we're gonna get us another one of them tires from them you know what i'm talking about we're gonna get that trailer ready so we can go get t-rex because uh i think tomorrow video gonna be based upon me uh probably not tomorrow i'll probably go do a cold start on my banshee tonight and i'll probably do a cold start on the t-rex tonight and then uh the next video we're gonna take it and get them uh the wire we got a wire uh the fan relay I've been had it, I just haven't did it. We're gonna take it to get the fan relay put on. So we can get, you know, we got them big boy fans on there now. Oh yeah, we gotta do the thermostat too. Thermostat and the fan relay. So we're gonna probably do that on the video and uh, bring y'all some old content on the T-Rex. It's been a minute since I even pulled the T-Rex out. So, with that being said, man, y'all stay tuned. We finna pull into this parking lot and see what it is to these wires with my boy, see if he can go and knock them out. Sir. Let that finish brought up? Just about. <laughs> Something so simple, man. You believe how long it took me to stop and be able to do this, man. Okay, I don't want to light. Okay. So two lights. Me and Pops put those LED lights on right there. there go three lights. And we're looking for the other side light. There she is. There she is. I'm gonna cut that turn signal on now. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Right. Now it's damage time. Oh, we gotta see what he's talking about. I'm gonna go on in and check the damage out. I ain't gonna let y'all in on this. Get out my business. Every day they can't ride my way. Filling up the safe, they can't ride my way. for the T200 for my chain. Put that jewelry on my T, it cost me.
success and fuck the club. We how you not you trash. That's worth the bubba dub. I know, I know, I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they. I know they don't like me. I'm gon' keep on put it in they face. I got houses everywhere. Can't no bitch put me in my place. LV on me, GG on me, DD on me, ABC. Four G's on it, candy on it. I love. Sugar man. It's long overdue, nigga. It's yours truly, the big homie, baby. Tapping all the way in. We talking that yank, Nick. Jalette, Illinois, to the motherfucking world. Yeah. Now no one bike life. Chicago was popping, nigga. Let's get it. A lot of y'all been hitting me up on it. Know how I've been doing lately. Hey, sugar man. We going down through that, nigga. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with this shit. Don't play with him, nigga. Big box Chevy Rider, nigga. Skrrr! Ah! A lot of y'all been hitting me up on it. Know how I've been doing lately. I've been doing great crab legs. The steak's still on my plate.